Hey, Pineapple Gang, what's brewing? Welcome to my first Streamily live signing. Uh, I mean, I guess it's pretty evident. If you've tuned in last week, you know uh, we were supposed to do the signing last Saturday, uh, but due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, the prints were delayed in transit. But hey, they are here today. Woo! Um, joining me in the chat is Ayu. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, she will be taking your questions in the chat, uh, and also she will have a signing tomorrow at this time uh, tomorrow as well, uh, so be sure to tune in for that. So uh, we're going to let people trickle in first, uh, and, uh, and then we'll begin. How are things? How are you folks on this fine Saturday afternoon? Yes. True, true. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, this is going to be just sort of like a chill hangout, sort of, I'm going to sign some stuff, take some questions uh, as we go along. Uh, so feel free to drop them in the chat. A uh, couple of ground rules uh, if you're new. Uh, first off, be kind, be polite uh, to the people in the chat, but also to us. Uh, we are not our characters, so please do not expect us to respond in kind. Um, and secondly, uh, I forgot what my second thing was, but, uh, oh yeah, that's what it was. Um, if we hit a certain goal, uh, in the, uh, during today's stream, uh, something cool might happen, and we'll discuss that maybe a little later. All right. Red. Uh, oh yeah, uh, also, a little bonus thing. Yeah. I'm really bad at names, so if I get your name wrong, if I say it wrong, pronounce it wrong, uh, I deeply apologize. Names are not my forte, so uh, please do not take it as an offense. I am not trying to be rude or mean. I'm just bad at it, uh, but I'll do my best. All right, let's start with the first one. First print of the day is... The Boy! All right. Uh, can ev everyone see this all right? We got the two cameras set up. Got a uh, little document cam here. All right, let's see. Ooh, this is the first one I've signed. Oh, uh, I posted this on social media, but if you are still wanting a print, if you've been on the fence about getting a print, the shop will remain open during the stream, but supply is extremely limited. So uh, I think, I believe uh, four of the prints have already sold out. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, uh, do so now. Uh, and if not, feel free to hang out in the chat. You don't have to buy anything. All right. First one is to Monica. Oh, I have to do the thing. Did we grab a pencil? No, I did not. You'll go get it? Okay. I'll go. Yeah, you'll sign it. Okay, good. All right. There is a specific order in which we need to do things that I am not used to. So we'll figure this out together. All right, to Monica. Thank you very much. All right, could you please write his crit quote? Crit quote. I will protect everyone. I said this on last week's stream. But my favorite thing I've seen so far has been people like I saw someone call all Christ all crits uh, because he's an absolute unit unit and uh, I'm all for it. He should be called all crits. I will protect everyone. It's not. There we go. All right. First print done. Here you go. 
I will protect everyone. Greetings. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Don't let me distract you. But thank you for tuning in anyway. All right. Oh, I need to write. I need to do the thing that they told me to do, which, uh, you know, is important. That doesn't write very well on this paper. I'm sure you can figure that out. I trust the, the Streamly gang to figure that out. All right. Good old Mizuki from Kamisama Kiss. We love the sly lad. Right, where, where should I? Where should I write this? Where's the legible? Here, probably. I'm assuming. I love this character so much. scene is still one of my favorite scenes of all time. All right, there you go. Thank you, Ashley. Appreciate it. Complaining must be hard work. All right. Do we have any questions in the chat by any chance? Rad. Okay. Always need to remember to write the thing. Write the thing. Big thank you to everyone who purchased prints, by the way. I was not expecting the amount of people who participated, who ordered prints, so thank you. It means a lot. Got people coming in going, made it! Hey! Yay! Welcome, welcome! I appreciate it. Welcome to the party. It's more of a chill party, not much of like a ins ins party. To void? I hope your name is Void and you didn't mean to just like void this response, so. Uh well it says to void, so I'm gonna write void. <laughs> It'll be fine. Two A shark head next to the name? Shark head. What kind of shark? See, this is when when you ask an artist something, the art brain just immediately goes. Hammerhead shark? Whale shark? Who knows? I have not done my signature, my autograph signature, in a while. Hopefully that's it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to conventions one day and realize that the signature that I've been doing has not been <laughs> the one that I have done for the last several years. A shark head. Uh, what does this shark head look like? Uh, uh. In Sharpie, no less. I don't like it. That looks like a dog. <laughs> yeah. Shark. We'll just do that. That's a thing? Sure. Don't think about it. Numbers on the back, I believe. We have some comments in the chat. 
the fact that you drew your own prints is amazing. Thank you. Uh, so you, you draw your own prints. I do draw my own prints. Every print that you see here is something that I have drawn. Uh, I guess it's kind of amazing because it takes willpower, and I'm surprised I have that. But no, every uh, every print that is uh, being signed on the stream today, including um, all the artwork you see on this stream for Hello Painapple, uh, is drawn by me uh, and colored by Ayu. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I guess it should uh, I should mention if you're new to this stream or new to us. Uh, aside from voice acting, we actually do a lot of art. Um, in fact. Once again, I'll tease this again. If we reach uh, certain goals on the stream today, you might be see you might see something that we've been working on for the past year. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll get there. Oh, thank you. Such a beautiful show. Such a special show, I should say. It's not just beautiful. It's absolutely special. Another streamily signing, like right after this? Um, about ever. Ever? Uh, we'll see. Maybe. Uh, it depends, honestly, if there's any interest in it. Um, I've seen a lot of people request uh, other characters, but again, I'm not sure how many people are interested in seeing such characters. Uh, and I've seen people ask for um, sign-ins, but that's not something necessarily that I have going with streamily at the moment. It is something that we are still working out. Um, so, yeah, if there is enough interest in doing another one of these, uh, I guess you guys will have to let me know, uh, and then uh, I'll decide if it'll be a, a viable option or not. But either way, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your question. All right. Oh. The order. I'll remember the order. I promise. We have a Lucian print from Tales of Luminaria. Rest in peace, rest in peace, Tales of Luminaria. Gone far too soon. Uh, and a best genus quote. <laughs> too long. I'll show you what makes someone a hero. Has anyone been watching Luminar or not La Luminaria? My Hero Academia? Keeping up with the latest season? It's getting intense. Super great. Okay. God, I miss Luminaria so much. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Do I have to show it off camera if I'm just putting it down? It's fine. It's all good. Someone's playing ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh dear. Yeah, that does not write very well on this. Hopefully that's okay. Yeah. I might do it. I don't feel like I should do it in Sharpie. Probably not. We'll see. Maybe they'll yell at me and tell me I need to make it clearer. <laughs> Until then, I'm going to press on. All right, next we have Yuno. Excellent. Thank you for ordering it. I appreciate it. It means a lot. All right, to Marion. Thank you for the Yuno.
Ooh, long quote. make sure there's enough this is like the um writing a birthday card you know <laughs> trying to write the happy birthday and not knowing how much space you need to take up i, I will learn Excellent. Thank you for coming. Oh, man. just one very important thing to know about me. The truth is, I would rather give my life than lose. practice a lot uh, it's a it's a weird thing it's a weird art thing that I decided but years ago uh, I was just I was deep into researching anime animators and the process in which they do things uh, because I started following a lot of them on Twitter and realizing that a lot of these animators jump from project to project and they're able to uh, mimic the styles almost immediately uh, really got me thinking like is that something that I could do? You know, is it something that the average artist can can possibly do? So I, I've tried to make it a point to whenever I do a commission or whenever I do a print uh, to study the style and try to match the style as closely as possible. Of course, it's going to be influenced by my own style uh, more often than not, but I try to get as close as I can when doing uh, these pieces. Um, but it takes a lot of practice. Usually uh, a week or two of just trying to draw from screen caps, trying to mimic the style as best as I can. Um, but yeah, it's 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 tough. I have gotten better at it over time, but it's not uh, not something that came immediately. All right. Oh, hey, history me makers. It's the boy, the one of two Yudis in the same bracket. Uh, write the number. The store is now flooded with customers. Have a great day. <laughs> huh? Oh, the store is now flooded with customers. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that uh, the, our uh, GameStop yeah. worker? Uh, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, GameStop workers, for your service. Uh, genuinely, yes. All right. Um, the problem with these things is that I didn't plan on where I was going to sign them when I drew them. I just thought, leave some space and then worry about that later. Well, later Micah is now kicking past Micah for not thinking about it sooner. I guess maybe we'll just take up this space here. Is that fine? Is that a place? I mean, it is a place. I just don't know if it's the place. All right, this one is to Brenda. wants a signature. I can do that. You know, 
I always struggle with signing the Yuri on Ice ones because a lot of the fans call uh, Plisetsky uh, Yurio uh, affectionately, uh, but since I've played the character, I understand that he hates being called that, so I can never bring myself to write the name Yurio. I always write Yuri P. And I don't know if that's me overthinking it or not, but uh, either way, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How do you say thank you in Russian? Spasiba. Is it spasiba? spasiba? That is, right? Da. Da. All right, we have another all crits. I will remember this. I swear. Okay. This is not super great. I wonder what kind of pencil would work best on this paper. Okay. I think for this I did these two corners. Uh, if possible, add your favorite Alchrist quote. Oh no! I must think of that. I wrote a bit of a cheat sheet, but it was only a bit of a cheat sheet, and I don't know if I have enough quotes to get me through, or individual quotes to get me through. Deciding. But we'll see. Okay. If possible, please add your favorite Alchrist quote. Well, I have many. Um, and I'm going to go with the first one, because it made me laugh so hard when I had to record it. Richard. Two. Richard. Oops. Thankfully. Save it. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Ah, this meal is like me. It's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, genuinely, you guys don't know how difficult it was to voice Alchrist without laughing sometimes. That boy is so sad. So sad. Oh. Christ. Okay. We have one more Alchrist. Excellent. To anyone who uh, has been playing Fire Emblem Engage, what are your thoughts? Have you enjoyed it? Is it different? Was it uh, different than you were expecting? Did it exceed expectations? Did you find it engaging? Ah, the crit quote. William. Thank you, William, for ordering this print. Appreciate it. Oh, man. I wonder if my handwriting will get better as this goes on. <laughs> Jack said it's bugging me a lot. It's more like hugging me than how it was in the past. I haven't gotten to pick it up yet, but really excited to see all of the uh, actors in it. There's a wide variety of actors. Oh, yeah. In it. Cast is incredible. I uh, I did hear a lot of people saying that it, it is quite a uh, divergence from uh, Three Houses. Uh, people were joking that. Uh, Three Houses was so tragic, and especially when they met the Brodio bros, 
Uh, they were expecting uh, their father, King Morian, to be horrible. And they like a lot of people were genuinely relieved to find out that King Morian was actually a good father. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. That's a long time to be playing Fire Emblem. Thank you, William. I will protect everyone. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. This one's definitely a fave. We have Kaido from The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. The Chuni boy himself. All right. Is this, oh, yeah, right. Did I write the thing on the last one? It's, it's your drinking game for the stream. Write the number! Write the number! Gotta write the number, otherwise they'll yell at you. Actually, I don't know what they'll do. <laughs> but I assume. No one assume. Alright, to L'Oreal? L'Oreal? I don't know. How'd you say that? L'Oreal? <laughs> L'Oreal. L'Oreal. This judgment nights of thunder. We already have the music playing on the stream, but imagine the drums coming in now. And the guitar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> judgment. Only say that part. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. This is nice because I I can trust you guys to spell everything correctly. And I don't have to try to figure out how to spell things. And if it's wrong, that's on you. <laughs> Thunder! Silly, silly boy. Uh, where do we feel like signing this? Can we just sign it right here? Keep it in this corner. Busy piece. Artist didn't think about that when he drew it. <laughs> I like this one because I got away with putting the uh, little chibi. It's like expectation versus reality. Truly. Love it. Thank you for this, by the way. I should probably show it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, so quick. Uh, a couple people asking about send ins. Mm -hmm. Do we have any updates on that yet? Uh, uh, I'm currently talking it over with uh, Streamly. Um, I have no really real control over that on my end. It's going to be up to them to address my shop and stuff like that. So I'm assuming we'll probably get it worked out for the next one if there is a next one. But again, uh, if you guys are interested in me doing another Streamly sometime in the near future, please feel free to let me know. Um, but at this time, uh, I don't think that's going to be an option. Yeah. Well, work. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Which styles are my favorite to emulate? Um, probably the ones closer to my own style. <laughs> uh, probably, I, I'm, I'm going to say uh, the things that are like uh, Studio Bones. Uh, I, I watch a lot of their shows in general, so my style tends to gravitate towards that in, in general. But uh, on the opposite end of that, I find the black clover style to be extremely difficult to emulate. Uh, I've done a couple of prints or pieces, actually yeah no, a couple of commissions 
from that. In fact, if you stay tuned to our uh, our socials, we will be posting another Black Clover piece probably uh, this coming week, in fact. Uh, but yeah, uh, some styles are just harder to emulate than others. It's just naturally someone else's style, and uh, I, I do not envy... I know a lot of people get down on animators or uh, other people for not being able to style match, but style matching is hard. It's, it's really difficult. Speaking of Black Clover, it's the boy who would be the Wizard King. Or should I say the Prince of my heart? Let's see. Oh, you know, before you do that, do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I swear I'll get it. Okay. To Jay. Jay, thank you so much for getting the Black Clover Unoprint. I appreciate it. <laughs> when I write. practiced my signature, but I didn't practice my normal handwriting, and uh, in retrospect, I probably should have done that more. <laughs> so, thank you for enduring my all-caps writing. That is not great to look at. All right. Here you go, Jay. Oh, I was going to say the quote. Oh, can you leave it up, please? <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. I don't know any other people's dreams. The only dreams I know are my own. Thank you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say, and I'm, I'm very sorry that you're going through a rough spot. Glad we can be uh, a little bit of cheer. We'll see if we can get that worked out. Uh, do we have a Discord? Do we have a Discord? Uh, no. I don't think so. No. We don't. No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> yeah. Probably won't do that. Okay. Next is another, ooh, another Black Clover. Fantastic. I'm gonna turn this around first. And then write the number. Haha! Thought you could get me. You don't know me. Why is this getting harder and harder to write on? It's not. I don't want to press harder on that because I'm afraid that it's going to show up on the other side. The last two coloring on the back of the Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, what do I do? Lick it? <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never know. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I be writing the last names too? Cool. Apologies if I didn't for the other ones. I'll go back and check it later. Right, to Melissa. Thank you, Melissa, for 
getting this print. Just a signature. I can do that. Don't have to think too hard about that part. I will be the Wizard King. Although, if we're honest, probably not. He's gonna be real busy ruling a different kingdom. Yeah, he's got, he's got his own kingdom to worry about, I think. But that's just my thoughts as a fan of the show. All right. Are we still in the... Yes. Cool. Oops. Sorry, I hit the mic. Oops. It's not writing. Why isn't it writing? I'm sure. I'm sure they'll get back to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right. To Hunter. Ooh. Orzo? Orzo? Don't want to make it sound like the noodles. All right. Thank you to Hunter Orzo for getting the all crisp print. And for the kind comment, appreciate it. Favorite line was when you fought corrupt Morion with Alchrist. Oh no, <laughs> that's sad. You want me to write that sequence? <laughs> I think Hunter's just saying hi. Uh, uh, should I write a quote from it? Is that a spoiler? It says my favorite line is. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll just sign it then. Keep it up top. Why not? Uh oh. Um. It's caught on the corner. Yeah, sorry. Appreciate it. Okay. Next. This one goes to Monica Hammond. Thank you, Monica, for the uh, email print. Deeply appreciate it. Spirit magic. Ah, I shall now, starting now. <laughs> did, did you want to go back and do them now, or? True. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I have other ones. Good suggestion, chat. Thank you. Oops. All right. 
another one by Monica. Thank you so much. This time of Yuri Plisetsky. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We have another you. You know, Yuri, Yukine, Yuichiro. A lot of yous. All right. Another one here. All right. This one was a fun one to do. In retrospect, I probably, I think, had the print been actual square size, it would have been a lot easier to, <laughs> to fit it in, but I had a lot of fun trying to fit in the shadow of the King of uh, Salt there. But what I didn't think about is where I was going to be signing it. <laughs> probably sign up, say, to Monica here, and then sign down here. That makes sense, right? That balances out. This was a good show. I did not spell her name right on the previous one, but I can fix that. Or the last one! Oh, see? It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Uh, I am very bad at names, and I'm very sorry about that. None the wiser. Except that I completely confessed and showed it <laughs> on camera. Okay, we fixed it. It's better now. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Stop panicking. Everything's all right. This is a show I wish we had another season of. For sure. Oh. I will protect my family. I think that's the voice I used. Can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Ah, oh, and we have one the Suwon of the Dawn. Loving this posted idea. Very good idea. You guys get some pineapple points for the good idea. All right. Again, your boy didn't think about where to sign this when he drew it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Probably here, assuming? Let's assume, why not? Speaking of shows that need to be continued. Excellent. It's a good show. A very good show. All right. Oh no, an actual quote. Professor, I'm uh, 
I didn't study. <laughs> Alright. Got too cocky. Thought I got it down. But I didn't. Alright. This one goes to Dina? Dana? Thank you so much for the Yuri Plisetsky print. Love this spicy Russian boy. All right. Ah, I remember this one. Whatever the cost might be. If it means winning, then I will sell my body and soul to you. See, it's funny because we both played soul. Both in Japanese and English. Just saying. I haven't done my Russian accent in a while. It's definitely uh, iffy. <laughs> Spasiba, I appreciate it. Alright. Uh, I had a couple questions from chat about appearances and stuff. Sure, here I am. <laughs> I have appeared. Uh, first is, have you ever, do you have, have you considered getting cameo? Uh, uh, I have considered getting cameo, and then I stopped considering it. Um, it's, I don't know. Uh, personally, I'm not... I I have a difficulty with uh, gauging at least what uh, what my worth is as a uh, vagueish celebrity mm, popular person. I don't know what you want to call me. Um, and so uh, doing things specifically for for like uh, for money, it's it's something I struggle with. Uh, even trying to convince myself to do this streamly signing was uh, a bit of a, a conversation. Um, so I don't know. Maybe if again, if there's enough interest in it, uh, I might consider it. But uh, it's it's not off the table. It's just going to take a lot of convincing <laughs> on my part to do so. Uh, Comic Cons? If Comic Cons will have me, you know, I, I live my life essentially by uh, vampire rules. Uh, I only go where I'm invited. <laughs> so um, if uh, Comic Cons want to have me, uh, that's cool. Uh, though, that being said, as of right now, currently, I am not doing in person events uh, due to my health. So uh, maybe when, when uh, things are on the level, on the clear for, for everyone, uh, including myself, uh, that's something I will consider more often. But until then, uh, this will probably have to do. Ah, da! Nah, I don't know other. I don't know much Russian. I know how to introduce myself and say thank you and please. And, uh, <laughs> unrelated, but have not seen Orange. Would you recommend watching it alone or with a friend? Oh, yes. Uh, so this is a thing uh, I always try to make sure to mention. Uh, only watch Orange is a fantastic show. It is one of the, my favorite shows that I've worked on over the last several years. However, only watch it if you are in a good mindset. It does deal with heavy topics, uh, including uh, mental health and uh, self-harm and suicide. 
So if that's not something that you're comfortable with or in the right mindset to uh, ingest in terms of media, uh, I don't recommend watching it at all. Uh, and if it's something that you don't feel comfortable watching by yourself, absolutely watch it with a friend that you trust. Um, but yeah, it is, overall, it is a beautiful show and I, I personally believe it's handled pretty well. Um, but everyone's lines are different. So um, yeah, uh, that's, it's gonna be hard for me to give a, a, a glowing recommendation uh, in terms of Orange uh, because people are on various different journeys in their mental health, but if you feel comfortable doing so, I do recommend it. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. We got some Soul Eater. That's what it is. That's the show. I made a joke once that I forgot being in this, and people got really, really upset, and I felt bad ever since. Uh, this is the show that that uh, that started it for me, so it does mean a lot. All right, put your favorite soul quote here. But there are so many. There are like fifty something episodes worth of soul quotes. Let's see. Did I put? Posted on the last one? Can't remember. Object permanence, what is it? Okay. Oh, I need my cheat sheet. <laughs> Let's see. My favorite soul quote. Uh. 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 Should have done more research. Can't remember it on the fly. Uh, let's see. Goes out to James. Thank you, James. Well, I think of a soul eater quote. Um. Mm -hmm -hmm. I do have a. F I do have one that I write a lot but it's not from the show. Can I get away with doing that one? <laughs> Just very funny to me, still. It's fun, it's in the spirit of the show. <laughs> It's silly. I got 99 souls, but a witch ain't one. Thank you so much. All right. What we got next? Ah. More of the boy. The good child. The child that definitely needs a hug. Alright. Yeah, the, the final people, they're going to pick one, so <laughs> that's fine. Hey, that makes two of us! <laughs> <laughs> bit of an essay, but when I recorded it, both when I recorded it and when I heard the final version, I really, really resonated with me. I enjoyed the, the sentiment quite a bit. It's from, I think it's from Support Conversation A with 
lapis? They were arguing over who, <laughs> who should protect who. Um, she is obviously his retainer, but for some reason he feels the need to protect his retainer even though he's royalty. The poor boy. Um, they had a very interesting and healthy conversation in support. To anyone who has played Fire Emblem Engage, I'd be curious, what were some of your favorite support uh, combos or scenes? says, that way we both protect someone we care for and accept we are cared for in return. Isn't that nice? Isn't that very healthy? And just incredibly sweet and wholesome. so much for picking up that print. Uh sure. So for the past year, uh Ayu and I have been working on um well, the closest thing I can approximate it to is a D&D &D actual play. Um, but it's not an actual play. We've trimmed it down. We've added sound effects and illustrations and uh, tried to make it as uh, close to, I guess, an anime as we can. Um, but the project is called Sudden Death and Sudden Life, reborn as a level one character in a popular TTRPG, and now I have to defeat the Demon Lord? Uh, it is a play on the isekai genre that has become popular as of late and features four unexpected heroes that have been uh, swept into a brand new world uh, and now, spoilers, they have to defeat the Demon Lord. Will they be able to do it? Who knows? Um, but this is going to be a clip of my cursed character uh, from the show. And uh, maybe you'll see some familiar faces as well. Who knows? But either way, uh, stay hydrated, get some drinks and stuff like that, and enjoy this clip. Uh, Micah, please introduce us to your character. I am playing Raymond Hikari, or Ray for short. He's got his uh, jacket on, fairly stylish jacket, has sort of like a, a big collar that can also double as a, as a hoodie. He has earbuds in his ears. That's not listening to anything. It's not playing anything. Because <laughs> uh, he wants to make sure that you can hear what other people are saying and observe. He likes to fancy himself an observer. He likes to sit in the back and, and just watch all the peons as they 
try to float about their life within this system. Uh, <laughs> he sees everyone sort of talking and enjoying themselves, and he thinks to himself, these naive fools, why do they even try? They're playing into dysfunctional systems designed to keep us in line, just like we are now. Don't they know? This world, humanity, it's all beyond saving. And it must be purged. It must be purged of its corrupt filth and be made anew. What this world needs is someone with clarity. Clarity of vision. A ray of hope to illuminate the path to salvation. And I, I shall be that ray. Uh, Ray, as you're thinking these things to yourself, uh, as you are being that Ray, uh, a college girl just sort of steps directly into your path. She's got like big brown eyes, her nose is like a little cute pink red from all the cold and has like a big scarf wrapped around with her hair tucked under and she's like, um, hi, would you like to join the volleyball club? Um, I can't. hi, would you like to join the volleyball club? No, I, I'm good, thanks. Uh, you should probably ask somebody else. But, but you have to. It's, it's a chance to, to make friends and, and rivals and, and build beautiful things and try your best with a bunch of other people. That's very cute. I appreciate it, but no thanks. And I try to step around her and go towards the building. She whoop, right in front of you. Look, uh, she points at the booth, and you can see like five guys in a row, each with like a different hair color, all in their volleyball uniforms. And like the one in the center is like, "Hey, man, let's be friends." You didn't tell me it was going to be this kind of show. <laughs> <laughs>
And we're back. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that clip. Uh, if you are interested in seeing Sudden Death and Sudden Life, uh, it is currently being put up one episode at a time as we finish it uh, on our Patreon. So it'll be available for anyone who subscribes to the $5 tier or higher. Um, but if you're not interested in dealing with Patreon or can't afford that, no worries, uh, we will be doing a public release of Sudden Death and Sudden Life sometime down the road once uh, all of the episodes are complete on our end. Um, but if you do decide to uh, watch it on Patreon, we also post behind the scenes content, little uh, sneak peeks and uh, various other sort of tidbits regarding the show uh, on our Patreon first, so uh, you'll get early access there. Uh, but either way, uh, welcome back. Let's. Uh, Let's get back into this, shall we? All right, next print is... The Prince himself. All right, I also got more post-its just in case I run out. <clears throat> Ooh! Allie? Ollie? Who knows? Uh, probably you. No, it's 22. I don't know why I tried to write the name. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Please write a fun quote. Oh, but Yuno's not fun. What's fun for Yuno? I don't remember I don't even remember what we said but I don't think it was said in the J yeah. so I'm I hesitate to put that one on I that oh yeah that's right <laughs> oh that was so funny <laughs> so here's a little uh, uh behind the scenes thing for that little uh I guess it was an OVA the uh, quiz OVA episode. Um, there was a running joke that we had on the show because we, um, you know, of course, uh, we're constantly having to say, uh, you know, we will be the Wizard King, I will be the Wizard King. Wizard King always keeps pos popping up as a term. Uh, and of course, there's the character of the Wizard King. And so uh, there was one day we were in the booth and uh, Chris George, who's the director, he, uh, we were rewriting a line to include the term wizard king but he typoed and ended up writing the word quizard king and we just thought that was the funniest thing of like aha no i shall be the quizard king <laughs> um and uh and in that episode in particular because it was a quiz uh we wanted to put that in but uh we weren't able to unfortunately but i thought it would have been so funny if if austin you know uh fought their hardest to see who would be the Quizard King, whatever it takes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, can I Google funny you know quotes? Are there funny you know quotes? Chat, if you know any fun uh, you know quotes, uh, help, a, help a fella out, please. Let's see. Here we go. Fun you know black clover quotes I always hated the fact that I was never blessed with magic ah fun <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know if that's him that's no that's Asta why did you <laughs> why did you why this you know is loved by the These are all just Asta and Noel quotes. You're not... <laughs> Help me out, man! <laughs> See, they're just... He doesn't talk. That's the problem. It's hard to have quotes for you now. I'm not stopping, I'm not moving, I'm not giving up. That's, those are just lyrics to 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna give you up. Yeah. <laughs> never gonna let you down. Uh, uh... uh chat says they do something he calls Austin his rival. I'm trying to think of like the insults that he's had for yeah. Austin, but I can't remember because my memory's bad. I'm an aging millennial. They're gonna have to send me to a farm upstate soon. That'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's a fun. What is a fun you know quote? I'm sure this is excellent content. Watching a guy just scroll <laughs> through the, the internet. Are made of. <laughs> It is fun. Was there one where he was like, he sh he shot like the the he shot the wind bird magic uh -huh. at Asta as a greeting and was like later little Rasta. <laughs> I can't. Oh, Ali's in the chat right now. Uh, it says quiz and kids fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ali. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll just I will be the quizzer king. Yeah. Thank you for indulging me. I appreciate it. And thank you for picking up a print. It means a lot. I will be the Quizard King. Um, actually, you'll find that it's a <laughs> Sorcerer Emperor. <laughs> All right, next from or to Zoe, we have the Crit King, our prince. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought about that conversation uh, where like Diamant is trying to convince Morian to like not go on go into battle and be smart about everything, and Morian's like, "You have you don't have faith in your father, and you're gonna tell me what to do." It's like you should be like your your brother Alcris. Hey Alcris, what do you think? Well, you know if if both Diamant and I die in battle, you will assume the throne, and he's just like. <laughs> you can just hear his ghost just leave his body. <laughs> uh, and yet. Alright. A quote from Alcrest. Oh. To Diamant. I have one of those for sure. I think. They spoke to each other, right? <laughs> Do you remember? Steven! Do you remember? Do you remember there's this thing called Fire Emblem? Uh. Yeah! Yeah. I have one here. Alright. Zoe. Thank you for the print. Gave you a quote from his support A convo with Diamant. And 
whatever else happens, I will always protect you. Because it's sweet. Oh, those bros are so good. Love them. Love them. Good content, gang. All right. Next we have... Ooh! This wasn't on my shop. It was listed on um, IU shop, but it is one we're going to be signing together. This one is of uh, our characters from Card Captor Sakura Clear Card. Right? <laughs> Hearing the two cards in the same name. Uh, I've always seen it written out, but I never said it out loud. Uh, this is Ariel and uh, Spinny? Spinelson? Yeah. All right. Um, I should sign on my side for sure. Uh, were there uh, special instructions for this one? Who's this going out to? Huh? Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! You got me covered. You caught me! <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, where, where are you going to sign? Right here? So I should sign, like, right here? Is that yeah, what you're doing? That works. Does that work? Balance. We're artists. we got to have these conversations. Balance, yeah. <laughs> and I, d I don't mean it like I'm a, I'm a voice artiste. I mean, like, illustrator. Just, just to be clear. But to Harry... He's a British accent for this. All right. There we go. Uh, are you going to label this yourself? Aha, that is your problem. All right. Have we made it through the VIPs? Hey, well, thank you to all the VIPs. I appreciate it. Means a lot. Now, we have, ooh, we have a blessed regalia in our midst. Oh, I love this show. Noragami, so good. All right, right, don't forget. Just because you didn't have to do it for the last one doesn't mean you can stop doing it. Gotta do it. Okay. Haley, thank you so much for ordering a Yukine print. We love this boy. Two. Haley. Can you write a line? I heard Yato calling. Thank you for doing this. I hope to see you at a convention again sometime in my Yukine cosplay. Yes! Oh man, I do miss meeting people and seeing their cosplays. Uh, I was at uh, SakuraCon, I believe, and I ran into a Yato cosplayer, and I think it was a Yukine cosplayer too, um, and uh, they were extremely sweet, and we took a picture together, and I asked, did you want to take a selfie or did you want someone to take it? And uh, they were like, uh, I want to take a selfie. And so they t the Yato cosplayer took out their phone uh, and then promptly dropped it. And there was just a moment where we all just kind of stood there looking at the phone, and it felt so very in character. Uh, it was a beautiful moment. Yeah. <laughs> I could almost see, almost like in the anime when Yato just turns white suddenly, it's just like, ah! <laughs> it was phenomenal. But I miss those moments. All right. Yato calling me. You, he, Nick. Oh yeah, and uh, you can't see it, but I am wearing a Yukine necklace. On the inside is the uh, little kanji for Seki inside. You got me this one, right? Yeah. I like this. Even though it's in the snow already, I'll draw a little floof. Uh, do we have those emotes in the chat still? Yes. 
Excellent. Um, so if you haven't seen it yet, or uh, even if you have, you're gonna hear it anyway. Uh, we have some special emotes in the chat. There we go. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, we got Yukine. I think we have. Do we have everyone else in there too? Still. Kobe. Kobe from One Piece. And Kaido from the Disastrous Life of Psyche K in the chat. So, feel free to drop those whenever you feel like. Yeah, we have a rolling Yukine. It's so cute. You spin me right round. Thank you so much. All right. Whoo! How are we feeling? You guys doing all right? Hanging in there? Staying hydrated? All right. Next, we got another one for Haley. Thank you. <clears throat> Sun. You can write what you like. Oh, that I shall. That has been one of the weirdest side effects of being in the show, of having people genuinely ask me without any sense of irony whatsoever to call them a loser because it would make their day. Only anime, right? <laughs> a print that I did for our patrons of Arata from um, Real Life. Uh, again, if there's enough interest, then perhaps uh, he'll be on the store next time. We'll see. I've had a couple of people ask for... Uh, I'll just throw this out there in case anyone does want these two. Uh, requests for Haina from the Royal Tutor, um, Takizawa from Tokyo Ghoul, um, and others. Yes. Yes, uh, and just to be clear, uh, the patrons do decide, our patrons do decide on which prints we draw. Uh, one of the perks that you get if you're a patron, one of our patrons, is you get to vote on what we draw next. So uh, really, the choice is up to our patrons. Uh, it's nothing personal. It's not like, oh, I don't like this character, and I'll ne you'll never see it from me. Um, it is merely what their interests are. So uh, if you're interested in seeing a character and you want to say in it, feel free to support us on Patreon. All right. Next we have... Soru Ita. Right. Number four. Could you please include a line about Maka? Sure. I bet I could do that. Excuse me. I'll try not to burp into the microphone. That would be awful. <laughs> to Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn, for the soul print. sentence quotes because it makes more sense in context.
Okay. Anyone remembers the scene where uh, Maka and Krona are fighting from the same time? Sol has a little quote where he says, I am your weapon partner, Maka. That means I am always prepared to die for my Meister. Yeah. <laughs> I realize I had two sequences where I played weapons that protected their master. And it was a horrifying moment. Both animated by Studio Bones, too. Excellent. Alright. Man. Soul Eater. We recorded in 2009. And I was 18 years old when I started Soul Eater. And that's a wild thought. <laughs> Right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Who's next? Ah, we got more Yuki. Oops. Take one. Take one. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. All right. This is two. No one. No one ordered this. Impossible. Please draw Yukine in his snowflake spirit form. I'll see what I can do. No promises. Actually, I, genuine promises, because I have to. By the way, I'm, oh, I can just use the uh, dot cam. I just realized I included a little his little his little snowflake form right here, right here, in the drawing, in the snow. You know, for feels. <laughs> All right. Who's this to? To no one. This is to no one. I have to sign it. And then draw the... I can do that. go. Can we get some Yuki's in the chat, please? Yeah, Yuki's in the chat. Heck yeah. Thank you, no one. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks to no one. Thanks to no one. <laughs> oh, there's so many Yuki's in the chat. Yeah, that's the stuff. Bless. All right. All right. Who's next? Ooh. Gotcha. Thank you, Abigail. Appreciate it. And no special instructions. I'm good at following no special instructions. for ordering our wind boy, our wind prince. Yeah. No, I don't. I wish I did. Uh, I had planned on buying some of the um, the replica swords of like Yuichiro's really cool green and black sword. Uh, and then one of Yukine with the cloth wrapping around the handle. Um, I thought it would be really cool to own an actual uh, scythe that looks like Soul, but the thing is, I'm extremely picky. Like, I know there are a lot of those on like eBay and stuff like that, but a lot of them tend to look very cheap. And I just don't know where I can go and find some really good quality ones. Um, I did have uh, a small soul scythe at one point in time, but I do not know where it went. Um, 
I think it was like for a keychain or something. But no, uh, I, I, I've always had the intent to do it. It'd be nice if we had a, like a space for it. That would be kind of cool. But uh, in our current setup, uh, it's a little impractical. But maybe one day, maybe one day. And if you guys have any recommendations for uh, places to get good props or people who do commissions or things like that, I'd love to know. So feel free to uh, drop some deets. Um, all right, shall we continue? Thank you for your question, by the way. I'd be curious to see how many of you have uh, prop, uh, I wouldn't say weapons, but like, you know, props from shows and stuff like that. Uh, I tend to collect more artwork and figures, in fact, ta-da, um, because they're a little more practical to move around uh, and store, but one of these days, one of these days. <clears throat> All right. You know who has a lot of really cool swag? Ian Sinclair. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he has a cool place. All right. Um, shout out to Ian. Love that dude. All right, to Chad. Ooh, King of Despair. I need a quote from the King of Despair. Um, hmm, hmm. Which quote? From which one? <laughs> Is Chad in the chat? Can Chad uh, specify which character from King of Despair or Black? Boy. Huh. Ooh! Oh, actually, <laughs> our our wedding yeah. rings. We don't. Um, actually, where did I put? I forgot where I put mine. There we go. Took it off during break. Um, our uh, wedding rings. We don't wear them because they don't fit. Um, but we did buy each other rings from the Lord of the Rings. I got. I gave her the ring that has the snakes, and then you gave me the Arwen's, a ring with Arwen's uh, pendant on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have those just on our shelf. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are technically our wedding rings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For those who don't know me, uh, I'm a huge Transformers fan, so I have in my office I have a lot of Transformers. the The line has been extremely good for well, good for me, bad for my wallet as of late. So uh, my collection has increased significantly in the last several years. Uh, but man, we as fans are are eating well. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um. Uh, I'm gonna write a quote from Black because it's the one I remember most readily. So I'll just write it on him. To Chad. God, Blood Blockade Battlefront was such a good show. Probably some like one of my favorite ensemble casts that we've had in uh, in dubs in recent years, um, and definitely one of my favorite characters that I've voiced. It's such a joy to play a character that has many facets, uh, and playing that sort of dual persona was just so much fun. And you played. My younger self. My animation of the original Transformers movie. Oh, uh, Rise of the Beasts? Is that the one? I think so. Excellent. I know they said that they're also working on an animated one. Ah. And that's in production right now. But that's really cool. Uh... Facebook 
tortoise tur tor to -tortoise. T -O -R -T -O -I -S -E. is that how you spell tortoise I'm rooting for you, Tortoise Knight. Right. Oh. Thank you so much. Love this show. Oh. I see. We have... Kokias Akito. <gasps> Akito Hyuga. This is a fun show to work on. Just extremely well animated. Beautiful animation. Excellent soundtrack. Loved it. In red. Ooh. Will this show up? Probably will have to write it on the uh, Nightmare Frames. Nightmare? Again, no one. <gasps> uh, let's see. Quote of your choosing in a signature in red. Akito didn't really say much except die. <laughs> Is that threatening if I just put a quote, die? die in red. Is that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in all caps and exclamation. Is that fine? What else did Akito say? I should. That's one I should have definitely researched, but I didn't. Uh, uh, this, yes, that works. Die is totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely fine to go with die. Okay. Then you understand it is it is merely in character. I'm not trying to do this in threats. Okay. It's the weirdest way to send someone a threatening message. <laughs> <laughs> you have to buy it yourself. Yeah. Uh This feels so strange. There we go. Well, thank you so much. Die. Die! <laughs> I shared the story before, uh, last week, but in case you missed it, uh, I had the opportunity to, opportunity to meet uh, Miyu Irino, who is the Japanese uh, voice actor for Akito when we premiered uh, Akito the Exiled uh, in LA for Anime Expo back in like 2017, 2018. Um, and he was a really cool dude. Really cool dude. Um, probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever had at a convention. Also the weirdest. Because we had to sign with bodyguards and that was oh, wild. Uh, which one? Oh, which number was that, by the way? Gotcha. Cool. All right. Getting back at it. Ooh. Got some Soul Eater Evans. To Rebecca Arts. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for the soldier print. Ooh, good quote. Love this one.
will I have enough space? There we go. Maybe I'll sign out here. In the end, the shape and form don't matter at all. It's only the soul that matters, right? Nothing else. I'll go with gold, maybe, on the black? Will that show up, you think? Yeah, I bet it'll be fine. I remember when we first uh, recorded Soul Eater, when, uh, before it got announced that it was gonna be dubbed, um, they dropped a little teaser where they showed off the license and they did like a clip show featuring the animation over some really, you know, driving rock music. And at the end, they had me record a little bit that said, and now your soul is mine. And they really wanted to do that to mess, specifically to mess with the fans. The guys in marketing were like, we want to drop soul's voice in and have people go, wait, who is that? <laughs> and uh, that was really nice of them to really kind of hype hype me up like that and I appreciate it uh, Curtis yeah. in marketing who used to work at Funimation back in the day uh, was very kind to us uh, but al would always make trouble <laughs> I'd, I'd be walking down the hall and he'd catch me and I don't know wh where or why he had like some swag constantly like in his pockets but he'd just throw stuff at me and then run and I'm like I, I'm gonna keep it, I guess. <laughs> I just ended up having a bunch of random Soul Eater swag thrown at me. Oh, I should show it off. Oh, you can't get any tackier than having my name, my signature twice <laughs> on, <laughs> on the print. But anyway, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And no worries, no pressure, no pressure. I, I, I just, I just in fun. All right, we got more Soul Eater. All right. To Robert. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. souls, but a witch ain't one. This is a little weird for me. Oh, uh, doing, doing the signings online. I, uh, I'm used to, uh, the panic. You know, usually there's a line and we have to get through as many people as possible, so I'm, I'm so used to just, like, blazing through these as fast as I can, greeting people, doing the voice instead of like writing a quote, <laughs> you know, and just trying to multitask. And this is so chill and calm and I can stop to like take a sip of water. We can just chat. I can do weird bits in between. It's kind of calming. Kevin. We know Kevin. Yeah. All right. I am Yato's blessed vessel. Oh. Yes, you are. <laughs> Good child. To Kevin. Thank you so much for picking up a Yukine print. Yato's blessed vessel. A vessel? <laughs> what? 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 Someone say the <laughs> We love a good portmanteau. <laughs> Very good. 
very good. All right, you know the drill. Yukine in the chat. Yukine in the chat. Woo! Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Woo! All right. More Yukine in the chat. Woo! <laughs> Please, I beg you. Thank you very much. All right. What we got next? Noel, Oops, do the thing. I'm gonna have to double check to make sure I wrote the right numbers on these. <laughs> I don't trust myself. All right, not gonna be in the chat for the live stream. Could you add a cute Yukine quote? On do my best. What we got? Let's see. <laughs> I mean, is this cute? No one wants to worship a sweaty god. <laughs> Stupid Yato. So gross and sweaty. to catch up on the Noragami manga. I'm so far behind, and I think it's ending this year, they said. Yeah. Definitely need to catch up. If I'm lucky, there will be a sale. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No one wants to worship a sweaty god. Next we have, you know, you know the one. This one's to Katie. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate it. To Katie. No special instructions. I am good at following no special instructions, for sure. There you go. These are so shiny. They are. Getting my fingerprints all over them. There you go. You know, he's going to be the Quizard King. Okay. Two. Liver. Yep, that's what it says. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, Do It Cody. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Bow, 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 bow. All right. Um, oh, yeah. So uh, if you guys are interested in uh, our streams, we do stream um, weekly. Uh, every Friday, every Friday night at 8 p.m. Central Time. So that would be 9 Eastern and 6 Pacific. Is that how math works? I don't know. I'm from Hawaii. We don't do time zones. Um, <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, we stream every Friday night. We do art streams where we draw. Uh, usually we do silly nonsense games uh, where we draw extremely poorly. 
Um, but sometimes we do creative ones where we, uh, like uh, yesterday, we did uh, our art prompt challenge where we drew from random art prompts and tried to do cool situations and stuff like that. So, you know, a little bit of goofiness, some sort of creative nonsense. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, we do that every Friday night. And uh, IU also does uh, every month a, um, so far at least for this year, uh, a We Cross Booster Pack unboxing stream where uh, she gets boxes of We Cross and opens them up and tries to get uh, really cool characters. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, that's what we're up to. We usually post our uh, streaming schedule on Hello Pineapple's Twitter, so keep up to date with that. Is that also on here on Twitch? Yes, it's on Twitch. Uh, I know everyone's asking me if I should get following them, on all of our Unfortunately, <laughs> but we appreciate uh, all of your follows and your support. All right. Liver. And no special instructions. I can do that. To liver. I know I've said this on other uh, shows, but. Notagami could use another season as well, or two. It gets so intense. No spoilers, though. No spoilers in the chat. All right. Have another Soul Eater print. Woo! out to Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. No instructions. Just have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. Hope you have a great weekend. To the boy. Second Prince of Brodia. <laughs> I do like that when you train with him. He's like, I'm Alcaris, the Brodian prince that isn't Diamant. That one. <laughs> Curious to anyone who's playing Fire Emblem Engage, who did you equip Alcrest with? I've seen really good things of equipping Lin to Alcrest, where he crits so hard. Yeah, I've seen like 139 crit on someone before, and it was just like, but and that was last, like. It was one of those group crits where other people come and assist, other characters come and assist, and then Alcris is like, all right, I'm gonna do the final thing. You only have two HP left and 139 crits. It's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did see really, a really uh, fun fan art piece of Alcris just like crying and saying, I'm so sorry, but he's critting constantly. <laughs> I'm so useless. Oh. Speaking of crits, here we go to Marissa. Thank you, Marissa, for the Alfris print. My crits and Luna. With my crits and Luna, I'll win. Diamant, I will protect everyone. Oh, love it. Oh, 
Ta-da! What a coincidence. <laughs> My crits and Luna, I'll win. Diamant, I will protect everyone. Yes, you will, Alchrist. Yes, you will. What a good kid. There you go. Thank you, Marissa. Appreciate it. Quite a are bit. At the hour mark again. Yeah. Uh, so it is time for another break. Let's take a break. Uh, we we'll take a break. we will see you in a couple minutes. Uh, yeah, we'll be playing uh, another clip. If you were here last weekend, my signing. You know, I've seen this one before. Uh, but just another little teaser from Sudden Death and Sudden Life. It's dark. Uh, in fact, no, dark's the wrong word for it. It's empty. It's not that it's dark, it's just that you don't see any light. You don't see anything, you don't feel anything, you just seem to be floating through nothingness. Uh, Ray, as you're floating through this nothingness, you can hear a voice echoing in your head, and you know it's not yours, it appears to be someone else speaking to you. And they say to you, Are you the child of light? Am I what? Are you the child of light? The child of light? Could it be? Is this my moment? Have the gods chosen me? Yes. Yes, I am the child of light. Well then, child of light, pledge to serve me, and I will grant you the greatest of all power. Uh, Ray, in this feeling of emptiness and nothingness, he feels like he's about to lose himself, that things are slipping away. And he takes everything that he has left, gathers it within himself, and says, I pledge my life to you in order to change this life. world and make it anew. The, okay, I didn't know you were done. Are you done now? <laughs> I'm done now. Excellent. Go with my blessing.
Wah! And we're back. Hope you enjoyed that clip. Again, if you would like to watch Sudden Death and Sudden Life uh, as it comes out, you can uh, subscribe to our $5 tier uh, or higher on Patreon and uh, watch it there. Or you can wait for it to be released publicly whenever that happens. All right, let's get back to it. We have another all crits. Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa, so much for ordering an all crisp prank. Okay. Thank you. That way we both protect someone we care for and accept we are cared for in return. An ideal way to approach life. Offer care and accept care. All right, thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate it. All aboard the Soul Train. This one goes out to David. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Grateful for the support. David, no special instructions. You got it. Let's go Soul Resonance. Thank you very much, David. Appreciate it. All right. Ooh. We have this beautiful man, Lucien Dufour from Tales of Luminaria. <laughs> Summer. Thank you, Summer. I appreciate it. Sign it with the quote, allow Lucian the villain to escort you through town. <laughs> P.S. I love your work and streams. Thank you. <laughs> that, uh, I like that quote a lot. That was fun. It's a good quote. He's so cheeky, and I love it. All right. Two. Summer.
I miss Tales of Luminaria so much. Yeah. Oh, gee, this one's mine! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Allow Lucien the villain to escort you through town. <laughs> Love him. Ah. Good memories. Nothing but good memories working on that project. Although I will say it was nice seeing a bunch of that cast in uh, Engage. <laughs> that was uh, genuinely surprising. Very pleased to see that. All right, we have another Soul Eater print. This one's to Pip. Uh, no special quotes, just any interesting tidbits about recording for this character or coming back to voice them in Soul Eater not would be interesting. Oh! Um... Interesting tidbits. Uh, Soul Eater was the my breakout role essentially at Funimation at the time. Um, I had been working at Funimation for about three to four months then, and I had been doing smaller parts here and there. Uh, and I remember getting the audition for that and thinking, there is no way on earth they would cast some new guy uh in this show i mean like everyone was talking all the all the a-list talent from funimation like were whispering in the hallways being like have you heard this is like a really big property and who are you gonna audition for and i was immediately just like oh no i don't stand a chance <laughs> there's no way there's absolutely no way uh so i remember telling myself you know this is going to be your probably the closest you're ever going to get to being in this show, so you might as well just have fun with it. So, went in, read for the characters, uh, tried to just have fun, and, uh, and then just walk out and be like, just let it go. Just best not to think about it, get your hopes up, just let it go. And uh, a couple weeks later, I was working with Zach Bolton, who is the director of Soul Eater, uh, on a completely different project. He was wrapping up a different project, and I was doing. Uh, Walla and bit parts on it and at the end of our session i'm signing the paperwork and he's like all right thanks for coming in uh and it looks like and he looks at his computer he's like looks like we're gonna be seeing you uh next week uh so yeah well we'll, we'll see you then and i was like oh fantastic great uh what, what what are what are we working on and he was like uh looks like uh you we're gonna be working on soul leader and i was like Oh, I get to do like Walla and Bits for Soul Eater? That's awesome. I wasn't expecting anything. Thank you. And he just looked at me like, mm. and then he looked in, at his calendar and he was like, no, you're, uh, you're Soul. And, uh, you know, in anime, like when the character kind of turns to cement and they just turn white and there's like the leaf blowing in the background, I swear that happened to me because I was just like that, that's, that's not right. And, uh. Uh, I said that th one of the things that you probably shouldn't say to a director uh, who's casting you, uh, I just took one step closer and I went, there has to be some sort of mistake, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, you're soul, congratulations. And I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, I absolutely couldn't believe it. Even while we were recording it for like months after that, we'd be driving, doing uh, grocery shopping and in the middle of uh, <laughs> driving, I'll just turn to Ayu and be like, I'm Soul, I'm Soul Eater. And she's like, yeah. Yeah, you are. You you have been for like four months. <laughs> I'm like, it's just wild. Um, but yeah, yeah, Soul Eater is always going to be one of those special shows to me because uh, it felt like it came out of nowhere. Uh <laughs> And uh, when we got a chance to do Soul Leader Not, it was it was a lot of fun because 
you know, they went in a completely different direction with the, you know, the Eep class and the Not class. And having the little cameos of Soul in there was just so delightful. Um, but I remember they played me my references from when I was 18 years old. And uh, I just immediately made a face. And Zach was like, I knew you were going to do that. I'm like, I sound so pubescent. And he's like, you still sound pubescent. I'm like, but not that pubescent. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that was probably the wildest thing because I, I was just fresh out of high school. I had done one semester of college and like that was like the beginning of my voiceover career. And I, I was so out of my depth being surrounded by all this incredible talent being surrounded by, you know, playing off of Laura Bailey and Brittany Karpowski, Monica Rial, Jamie Markey, Sheremy Lee, like all of them. Just the idea of being surrounded by such amazing talent was extremely daunting to me. And uh, yeah, the, the it is it is such a special project to me and will always hold a, uh, a prominent place in my heart. Uh, the, that feeling is not lost on me even till now to this day. So yeah, thanks for strolling down memory lane with me. All right, to Pip. Uh, genuinely, I, I will say, I will also add that the fact that I was able to <laughs> be in a project with like Travis Willingham and Laura Bailey before they went off to California and hit it extremely big uh, is an incredible honor and pleasure. Like, uh, if that, like, that could have easily been a missed opportunity, and I would have been so sad. But they are phenomenal, phenomenal talents. Uh, mm, 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 no, just interesting to this. I don't know if that was interesting. <laughs> that could have just easily been a tidbit. Yeah, hopefully that was interesting, but there you go. And now your soul is mine. Ba -doo. All right. Hey, we got another Lucian print. It's tea time. This one to Tacoma. I thought that's a Tagoma for a second. Tacoma? Washington? And no quote. You got it. Oh, I should have put it down here now that I think about it. Oh well. That's fine. You live and you learn. Mostly learn. Truly tell the woman I am Hey. I appreciate it, genuinely. It's one of those projects where uh, it was such a bummer, you know, to, to get the news. Uh, we, we did record more. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's a breach of NDA to say that we did record more um, before it got canned, and uh, the fact that it will never really see the light of day is truly a bummer, but uh, the support you guys have shown regardless, even, even when the, the game bit it, uh, is greatly appreciated. I, I'm incredibly grateful for all of you, so thank you. All right. Boo! Uh huh. There we go, our blessed vessel's back! All right, this one's to Ryan. Actually, let me put the number on. Did I do on this one? Probably not. I'd be surprised. <laughs> Probably go by. Um, there we go. Yeah. Yep. Correct. 
Sorry about that. I make things more difficult by not doing the thing I'm supposed to. It's a very simple task, and yet I forget constantly. Ryan, did you write one of your favorite lines from Yukine? I'll do my best. Okay. job is to find disaster and slay it. There we go. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it. The Blessed Regale. Read the character's name. Sure. Mm. Let me just write it down there. Let's be smarter about this this time. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Soul resonance. Her. <clears throat> this one's to Brandy, your favorite Soul Eater Evans quote. Soul is mine. Thank you, Brandy. Appreciate it. Ooh, one more blood blockade. Love to see it. To Morgan. Thank you, Morgan. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Heard there's another season coming. Don't know when, but has been confirmed. Oops. 
Sorry, you can't see it. It's probably off screen. All right. There we go. Thank you, Morgan. Appreciate it. Black in Blood Blockade Battlefront. <laughs> <laughs> so much to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah. All right. We have. Yuri Lisetsky. Gold medal winner. Born to make history. Oops. That's supposed to be a six. We'll go with six. Mm hmm. Thank you. I raise a glass of tea to you. <laughs> All right. Julie, I'd love any quote or whatever you write. Cool, cool, cool. Um, can you scroll down a little bit, please? Oh, just, can you keep scrolling? Thank you. Agape, unconditional love. To me, that means grandpa. Thank you. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Ooh, we have the treacherous boy himself, Suon. From Yona of the Dawn. Akatsuki no Yona. Suon! Yeah, many of these characters you played my younger self. Yeah, I forgot about Suon. Suon, <laughs> Lucian, yeah. Black, Akito. Akito. Yeah. Yuno, oh, yeah, and, and uh, Baby Yuno. Yeah. It's a little known fact. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> but in the flash, 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 flashback, uh, when Yuno is first born, I do make all of the crying baby noises. In the last season, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure. Were you also baby Yuno in the first couple of seasons? I don't think so. I can't remember. I don't remember. I, I, I don't recall. I just know I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, something tells me you probably... I th because of the turnaround on ep the first couple eps, I think that maybe that maybe it was someone else, but who knows? Uncertain. Yeah, but I know I definitely know you were baby, you know, in the flashback in uh, the last season, Spade Kingdom. Art. All right, to Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate it. No, <laughs> it's running out of ink. Just right over there. You get a really special two. <laughs> really special. No quote. No problem. Yeah. 
Fiona, your hair. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no conventions for this year, or at least no in-person events planned for this year. Uh, uh, I've said this before uh, earlier in the stream, but uh, due to my health, I, I can't really afford to travel or do in-person events. Everything that I've been doing for the last several years has been done remotely. So unless uh, a convention is in interested in having me as a uh, digital guest, uh, I, chances are I'm not going to be showing up for any uh, signings or conventions, unfortunately. So. Done. To yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we attended as digital guests last year uh, for Anime Fest and were able to do our uh, art panels remotely. So shout out to A-Fest in Dallas uh, for just being incredibly uh, uh, accommodating for that. But hey, until then, hopefully we'll see you sometime soon. All right. This one, uh, another one to Jesse. This one of our, uh, <laughs> our Hibby. Yeah, play either really nice kids or <laughs> duplicitous fellows, and I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, our heavy hitter, as it were. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to sign down here this time. To Jesse. Oh, 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 oh. I make a mess of that. Let's ah. put the number on. Did I do it on this one? I'm losing track Yay, you did. of what I've done. I'll probably have to go back and double check all of these just to be safe. Because I don't trust myself. Lady Nanami, I can play the flute. Does it count? Does it count as playing the flute if it doesn't make a sound? If a snake plays a flute in the forest and literally no one is around to hear it, uh, does it make a sound? Uh, who knows? But that's your philosophical question of the day. Those are the deep thoughts for the day. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, we have another one. Yay! I'm not just seeing double. All right. You know, before they announced a, another version, another series of Fruits Basket, uh, to me, this was sort of the uh, the go-to for shoujo manga if you wanted a Fruits Basket alike. You know what I mean? In, in the in-between. Yeah. Uh, because it was also directed by, uh, I think, Aki, Akitaro Daichi? I think that's his name? The Japanese director of the first series of Fruits Basket. Uh, and I was lucky enough to meet him at a convention uh, I think they were premiering the second season for the first time, and uh, I got to take a picture with him. Actually, he asked for a picture with me, which was the shocking <laughs> part. Um, I wasn't even supposed to be in the panel. I was just in the back watching because I was just interested. Um, but uh, Justin Rojas, who was working at the company at the time, saw me in the back and was like, And we have! I'm like, you! Oh, hmm. Just fully called me out. Um, but yeah. But in the end, they ended up making another fruits basket, and I was fortunate to be in that too. So, Yay, both of us, both of us, in fact. Oh, yeah. All right, to Hannah. Thank you, Hannah, for the Mizuki print. Oh, right, this is the one that's not working. Boo! <laughs> you also get a fancy two-color one. Ages, I mean. And no quotes. Cool. Can do. There you go, Hannah. Enjoy some sacred sake. But none for you, Tomoe.
Hey! It's a boy! Crit, 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 crit! That means that all Chris rolls nat 20s constantly. Constantly. And then sits around going, my stats are bad. <laughs> I did see someone be like, I just want to draw pictures of all Chris saying strong sad quotes from Homestar Runner. And I'm like, hey, I'm in that audience. Yeah. Can you please do, do that? that? Send it to me. <laughs> One hundred percent. Absolutely. All right. To Jesse. Jess. How do you say that? Jesse. Jesse. Either way, thank you for the awkward print. I appreciate it. I'm sorry if I have said your name incorrectly. The quote is. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> there we go. We'll we'll make it very wavy and crooked to get the point across. <laughs> oh. Love it. Love it so much. Ah, oh, easily one of my favorite conversations. Um, do we have uh, the other packet of metallic sharpies. We'll find it later. It's fine. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Uh, my name. That's what I do. Ah. I sign my name. All right. There we go. Thank you so much for getting a print of the second Prince of Brodia. We appreciate it. We'll handle that next time. I got it. It's all good. Yeah. We got we gotta save it for your signing too. We are oh, sharing markers. I'm I'm yeah. Uh huh. Hey everyone, I'm signing tomorrow. Yeah, I'll remind everyone at the end of the stream. All right, we have the Soul Eater Evans. To Elena. I realize I have all these colors down here too that I haven't busted out. Yeah. Played it very safe today. Maybe we'll try different colors next time. Who knows? To Elena. No quotes. Can do. I got 99 souls, but a witch ain't one. Thank you. All right. Another snake boy. Write this number on the back. Do it. The number. Do it. This one's to Lainey. No real instructions, but Mizuki is my favorite character from Kamisama Kiss, and you played him perfectly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Me too. Uh, object permanence. Stop looking at name forgotten immediately. Lainey. Me, zoo, key. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. We have another Alchrist. To no one. Can you please write? I will protect everyone. I can. And I will.
called Christ. There we go. I will protect everyone. Thank you, whoever you are. And then he does. He does. <laughs> True to his word. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> this one goes to Matty. Thank you, Matty, for the all crisp print. Genuinely appreciate it. but to win. I don't know, I don't know buddy. <laughs> that could be a flex. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I love this kid so much. You have no idea. Thank you, Maddie. Appreciate it. add a quote from Soul. Uh, Soul thinks that uh, rough estimates you should be paying about $50 on that thing that you were planning on spending on. Just a rough quote. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's fired. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Sorry. Good news, everyone. You don't actually have to be a dad to make dad jokes. No. <laughs> you don't need to. You don't need to be a dad to make dad jokes, but you have to be bad to make bad jokes. <laughs> yeah. Your dad, anyone can just make bad jokes. <laughs> See, this is what I like to call driving down engagement. <laughs> All right, this one's to Allison. Thank you, Allison. Uh, let's see, what kind of soul eater quotes do I have? Uh, I have some stuff. Let's see. Ah. Where did everything go? Thank you. <laughs> I got 99 souls, but a witch ain't one. Thank you, Allison. Appreciate it. All right. Ooh, someone picked the quote that I have here on my phone. This one is also to know in red. Oh, no. Hang on. There are special instructions. Don't read backwards. Quote color in red, signature in black, and then soul in red again. <laughs> it's a quote in red. <laughs> start there, start there. Start there. <laughs> a glimpse of how I try to problem solve in the booth. I gotta say this word and then emphasize that. <laughs> <laughs> Truly though, I kind of miss having like physical scripts where I could, you can like take notes and like emphasize this word, don't pay attention to this, and then elongate whatever, because that's yeah. what the director said. Instead, you have to remem remember all of it. And by the time I get to the next line, I'm like, I forgot what you told me. <laughs> yeah, like in the days of the paper scripts where you had a pencil, you would literally just mark it up with yeah. notes. Mm -hmm. And you can't do that 
Yeah, I don't. I usually just apologize and be like, I'm sorry, I forgot what you told me to do. Can you tell me to do it again? Just, you know, correctly? Yeah, I'm a professional. I get paid actual money to forget things constantly. Just waiting for that farm upstate. Just send me there. <laughs> All right. In red. Signature in black. And then soul in red. There we go. I think I did it. I am your weapon partner, Micah. Micah? Wow. Maka. <laughs> that means I'm always prepared to die for my Meister. There we go. It's like it's Meister and Maka combined. M there you go. I'll take that. that I'll take is. any excuse to cover any of my mess ups for sure. You know, as like as I like to say in the booth whenever I mess up and be like, no, 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 I'm just showing you how I wouldn't do it, just so we're clear. <laughs> okay, to no one. Awesome. Sign it. Sure, I can do that. I know how to do that. I was born to do that. There we go. Job done. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I will be the Wizard King. Okay. Oops, I forgot to put a thing in the back ah. of my... Did I do it on the last... Nope, oh, I have no. not. I have forgotten. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We can do this. <sighs> Gang, what did I say? <laughs> Yep. Go to the bottom. Yeah, show more. Yep, that's I got it. Fifty eight. Yep. Try, try uh, arranging it by uh, product type. Um, go to sort by corner. Yep. Product name. Yeah, I guess that's the one. And then uh, show more just in case. Yep. Rat. Cool. All right. Looks like we have another Yuichiro. Yakuya. Also two. Damn, dude.
kill all the vampires. Thank you very much. Alright. Looks like we have one last one. We have another aerial. You're gonna write the number, right? And, uh, are we making this out to anybody? No? Nope. Just signing it? Can do. Alright. Alright. It's all in the cards. Yeah! Alright! Cool, thank you guys! Yeah, Looks like that's our stream. Uh, big, big thank you to everyone. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much to everyone who purchased the print and who came and hang out, hung out with us uh, all throughout this afternoon. We appreciate it so very much. Uh, thank you for your questions as well. Uh, just to cover again, uh, for those who are wondering, uh, the next time we do this is still up in the air. Uh, we're not entirely certain if uh, we will be doing this again, if there's interest for it. So if you are interested in uh, seeing another Streamly signing or having another Streamly signing, please let me know on Twitter. Uh, I would love to know if that's uh, something that people want to see. Uh, on top of that, uh, we will also probably have more prints available next time. And uh, we are currently in talks to see if we can get uh, send-ins going on my Streamly account. Um, but again, that is uh, entirely up to the folks at Streamly to handle on their end. So uh, we'll probably mention it if that ends up being uh, a thing. And uh, tune in tomorrow at the same time at 2 p.m. Central, uh, it's what, 12 noon, 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, 12 Pacific, 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern for IU Stream. Uh, I will be in the chat taking questions and I will be signing. And uh, again, if you want to see more Sudden Death and Sudden Life, go and hang out on our Patreon. Uh, but until then, thank you guys so much for hanging out, and hopefully you guys stay safe. See you later.